Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Coulomb's law. The force between two charged bodies was studied by Coulomb in 1785. Coulomb's law states that the force of attraction or repulsion between two point charges is directly proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. The direction of forces is along the line joining the two point charges. Let Q1 and Q2 be two point charges placed in air or vacuum at a distance r apart. Then according to Coulomb's law, F directly proportional to Q1 into Q2 divided by r square or F is equal to K into Q1 into Q2 divided by r square where K is a constant of proportionality. In air or vacuum, k is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, where epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space, that is, vacuum, and the value of epsilon 0 is given as follows. f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q1 q2 by r square and 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 n m squared c to the power of minus 2. In the above equation, q1 is equal to q2 is equal to 1 c and r is equal to 1 m, then f is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 into 1 into 1 by 1 square is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 Newton. 1 Coulomb is defined as the quantity of charge which when placed at a distance of 1 meter in air or vacuum from an equal and similar charge experiences a repulsive force of 9 into 10 raised to 9 Newtons. If the charges are situated in a medium of permittivity epsilon then the magnitude of the force between them will be Fm is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon into q1 q2 by r square. Dividing the equation 1 by 2, f by fm is equal to epsilon by epsilon 0, that is equal to epsilon r. The ratio epsilon divided by epsilon 0 is equal to epsilon r is called the relative permittivity or dielectric constant of the medium. The value of epsilon r for air or vacuum is 1. Epsilon is equal to epsilon 0 into epsilon r. Since fm is equal to f divided by epsilon r, then the force between two point charges depends on the nature of the medium in which the two charges are situated. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.